first, we will go into that. How about we go around the table? So who has it harder when it comes to dating, men or women? Go ahead. I think it definitely does depend on the situation. In general? I think men. Okay. I think it depends on your standards. <laughs> but in I general, think, in general. In general, men. I think it's a lot of pressure. I think men, 100%. Oh, yeah. That's so funny that everyone's saying this now because the girlies in the Mid comment were calling me pick well, Misha, I sprinkle, well, sprinkle. The and dating, like, specific sprinkles. dating. Yeah, yeah so. specific to dating men. Yeah. I feel like uh, a lot of things in life men have it harder. Um, yeah. No, no, we, not in, equal, into the mic. I think we both equally have it hard. Men and women both. Well, I don't know if it's equally have it hard. I think women have certain difficulties that perhaps men don't have. But, of course. And men have difficulties that women don't have. Yeah, but exactly. I think generally speaking, men have a, a definitely a harder time with dating. Um, what about you? What do you think? Yeah, I would say that men have a pretty rough time. If mm -hmm. you, if it, like, like you have these guys in your comments asking if they're being overlooked because they're blue collar. And mm -hmm. now it becomes this issue where, and, and you, you talk about this, and, and actually you do too, Brian, but a very small pool of men are the ones that get all of the attention. Even though there are lots of good, hardworking men who would love to find somebody good and, and have a relationship, but because women are the gatekeepers of sex, they have to compete, and it's difficult. And it can be really discouraging and extremely lonely. And that's why, like, after, it took me about a week to make a response video to all the girlies in my comments being like, pick me, pick me. Because I really, I had to sit down with a few of my girlfriends just to make sure that, like, maybe my comment was a little, like, maybe I should, like, do some self-introspection, which is everything that I preach. And then I came down to it as I do feel like in society, especially when it comes to dating, we hold the power. We hold the yes or the no's, right? They don't really have much say anymore, which, I mean, that's just the way the world works around it right now, but... I don't feel like we give men enough compassion for the hardships that they face. Mm -hmm. Like, we love men mm -hmm. conditionally. I don't, mm -hmm. I mean, in my relationship now, it's the first relationship I've actually practiced loving somebody unconditionally. So, like, when it comes to, like, money and when it comes to, like, dick size, all this kind of shit that we're so, like, I don't they love you unless perform. you have this. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. What about us? And I feel like a lot of women mm -hmm. take this and they're like, okay, cool, you want this out of a man. But I, I do not feel that the question, what do you bring to the table, is a bad question to ask. Because if all you can bring me is that you have a fat ass and you have a pretty face and you can f good, that's going to get the man. But, like, how are you going to keep him? him? What substance mm -hmm. That's the have. reason why I don't, I don't care about the, oh, she's just a porn star and OnlyFans girl. No, I'm smart as shit. And half of the men that, can get, that have gotten to know me can all say the same thing. Mm -hmm. Like, holy shit, you mm -hmm. smart as hell. Like, why are you doing porn? And I'm like, well, because I'm capitalizing off the market, okay? I'm using my looks <laughs> to capitalize. Yeah. But I feel like a lot of women that I meet, which is the reason why 90% of my friends are guys, and I know it sound, I know this is like feeding into more of the pick me thing, but no, I feel like men can't hold me accountable. I don't feel like a lot of women hold themselves accountable, and especially, so we're like always preaching these standards, and I, I'll say the same thing for men. I don't, I don't do leftist, I don't do right. I'm literally, my shit is middle ground because I feel like women preach these crazy standards that they can't even upkeep themselves. Men preach these crazy standards and like, you know, like the whole, Men want a traditional wife, but they're not traditional men. 100%. But I feel like women are taken, like, when a, when a man says, oh, I don't want a girl with a high body count, we're like, that man's trash. He's shit. No, that's just his f***ing preference. But then I feel like when women say, um, like, oh, you know, I want, I want a man to make this, this amount of money, it's not coming from a place of, like, she knows who she is. She's, it's, she's coming from a place of, like, what society is sort of what they should once Victor underscore in men and men are just precious just a sec. hey look it's pearl i like pearl i just got here thanks for the awesome content one more time it's a really nice vibe to enjoy a coffee to and fire up the business mm -hmm. much love brie and panel brie huh i i feel like something in that in that thank same you victor vein, in that same vein it's like it's never our fault when things go wrong and that's something that i see a lot when women talk about different aspects of life. It's never, if you pick, if you pick shitty guys, it's never your fault. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you go into too much student debt, it's never your fault, right? If you don't negotiate well when you're trying to get a job, it's never your fault. And that really hurts women because it doesn't actually empower us to take any sort of agency over our own lives and actually make decisions and be responsible for our own actions. But men have to do that because if they do not, they are not attractive partners. Mm -hmm. And that's really an unfair standard that our society has, particularly in the US, I think that that's a real problem. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Yeah. I mean, that's just my sentiment you know, about it. You know what I was thinking about, which is crazy? 
If you're a 1% guy, like top 1%, let's just say height, money, looks, whatever, you can't expect a virgin. Like Wait, top, you can't or you can? You can't. If you're a top 1% guy? Yeah, like guy? They, they don't expect it. I'm not saying they don't want it, but they don't expect it. Oh, like a top you, guy yeah, and that's doesn't how, expect a virgin. Yeah, and okay. that's like that's just kind of speaks to the dating pool for like men today. Mm. You can get like to the top like one percent of men, and you don't expect a virgin. Elaborate on that. I mean, like, what what do men look for typically historically? Purity, youth, okay. right? And attractiveness, obviously, yeah. pretty in shape. And so it's like you have a guy that can get to like the pinnacle of what women want, like mm-hmm. you know, tall, muscles, money, whatever. And, like, those guys don't expect a virgin because, like, the quality of women has just gone down today. Like, the average partner count is, like, what... I mean, they say, like, between five and eight. Um, And, like, you know that after, like, five to seven partners, your chance of a happy marriage drops to, like, 20% in 10 years, roughly. Why, (laughs) though? Yeah, if you're... I mean, it... Why does body count matter so much? Yeah. I mean, like it, I mean, you're gonna find different studies that, that you're I, I ridiculous. do think that part of the reason that your chance of a happy marriage go down is because you have more experience and you know what you want. Right, and then right. if you no, a lot of people settle in marriage and no relationships, good. you know about it. Like, oh, I mean, I just want to, I just want to ask, like, how is it working? Like, how how is women having more partners working in society? Is it doing? Is it Leading us to having more fulfilling, long, happy relationships or not? Because a hundred years ago, we're getting the relationships. Only, only, we're wait, talking wait, about wait, people. So a hundred, a hundred, wait, wait, a hundred years ago, only fifteen percent of women admitted to premarital sex. Eighty-five percent of women. And you know why they and admitted? Then, I, yeah. Let's say they're li- Let's say they're big liars, and we double it. Okay, that's still two out of three that were virgins on their wedding night. And so, like, my question is, are relationships in a better place today than they were 100 years yes. ago? Because say, say what you want about relationships 100 years ago. You cannot tell me that the way relationships are today are working. Like, half of our generation is afraid of getting married because of what we've seen in our parents. Yeah. Like, that is a horrible place to... stay together because they felt like they no, had they to. No, they didn't. Our parents... Are, that's not true. I mean, our parents are the I most... I can't speak for your parents par- or my no, parents. No, no, I'm talking about the numbers. But I'm talking numbers. about, like, generationally. I'm, no. I, for so long, women didn't have the autonomy so, to say no and to ask for so what they I'm, want and demand what finish. they want. Mm-hmm. And now women do. They so, can say, no, mm-hmm. I don't want that. I don't want you. You don't make me happy. I want what makes me and, happy. Okay. And that's why mm-hmm. I think that... Is that what a re- so, relationship is about? No. I think it goes both ways, 100%. What? I think the man gets to say, no, that doesn't make me happy. But the thing is, is it was only one-sided for right. so long. I want to look at what outcomes have women had. So not like personally, anecdotally. This is just in society. What outcomes has this led to? One in three women have had an abortion. One in three women have an STD. 90% of women have been on contraceptives at one point in their life. Women are on antidepressants more than ever before. What has promiscuity led yeah. to yeah. Why are for we women? Magnifying on just women. So, uh, but why There's can't we? Why can't we have a conversation about women without saying but men? Like we're just talking about the women now, so we can come back okay. to the men later. I'm not saying men are perfect, I, but I'm saying like if if we're so happy and promiscuity leads to great things, why is it when our body counts I, go up? Where we have more STDs, more abortions, we're on antidepressants more. Like it's not good. I don't think I antidepressants has anything to do with uh, you don't, body oh, count. Yeah. Here, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I personally don't think that it's just like, oh yeah, you should just f- whoever, whenever, mm. at any time you want, just legs wide open, anyone mm. can get in. Mm. I don't think that that's necessarily healthy, but I do think that it is your. It's your life and your decision. If you, if I want to have more than one sexual partner in my life, that's it. I have, and Hold it on. hasn't. What? Like I'm well, okay spe- with 